In this tutorial, we will be learning how to create an own character style and how to create a paragraph style for whole paragraphs. Here I have my headline. I select the headline and I say create new character style, new style, and call it Casino Flyer Headline. It already knows it's thin condensed, it knows the font size, it knows the colors, everything already has been selected. All I have to do is click on Apply Status Selection and hit OK. I select this word Casino here and I go on the Casino Flyer headline. You can see it's right away applied. Now I select this and I move that up here and delete that down here. For this text, I would like to add on a paragraph style. So I select the text by double clicking, I could select the word by triple clicking the whole line of text or four times click the whole paragraph. By five times click, I could select the whole text or I hit Command A for selecting the whole text. Then I go up here and I choose a font style and I choose Avenir. And I choose 12 points, which is fine. I go over here and I say I would like to use Justified Left. Now to adjust it, we've seen that before, I can adjust my frame the way I like it. As soon as it gets too small, the eye shows up. That means the text is too small for the text box. But the text still selected, I go up here and I say Paragraph, New Style. And I call this Casino Body Text. It already knows it's Avenir book, it sees the font style, it sees the colors. I would like to have a simple black. All I need to do is say apply styles of selection and hit OK. If I let's say later on use again the frame text tool, maybe on the flyer page two, and add on maybe the address in Las Vegas, all I have to do is select the text, go up here and choose casino body text. Now, if I would like to make text alterations inside a paragraph style, then you might have to select the words you'd like to have changed, maybe underlined or bold, etc. and make an old character style for the words inside. Now, I add on again a character style. Add this bold casino text. It already knows the font style. I don't even have to select it. It knows it, even though it doesn't show it here. I say OK. I go in here and I say Bold Casino. Then I can go here, select the strip, Bold Casino, and so on. Whenever you add on a character style, I make another one here with maybe underlined, you have the choice to say based on something or you say based on nothing. Now, if I say based on Bold Casino, it will take over the attributes from the bold casino character style. And you can see it already here, it added it on in bold and added on the line. And if I say no, no style, then it just adds on the line by itself. It's very similar to the program word or maybe layout programs such as InDesign. Give it a try, you can see it's very easy to do. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning how to place a photo.